obviously I missed out on the Nate, Nate Allen signing, $3.4 million, one year for Nate Allen. You know where I stand on that. It's it's Team Bakari Rambo all day. We need to start campaigning it. Hashtag Team Bakari Rambo. We want him to be the start and safety across from Rashad Jones. Like, honestly, like this is what made, would turn me off of the Philadelphia Eagles. That made me so mad. I don't know if we have any Eagles fans on this channel, but I sat back and looked at the 2010 draft, right? So, in the first round, the Miami, the Miami Dolphins, the Philadelphia Eagles had the opportunity of getting Earl Thomas, but instead they decided they wanted to pick Brandon Graham. Now, I don't know how you got how you my Philadelphia Eagles fans feel about Brandon Graham because honestly, in my honest opinion, it took him a while to, for him to bloom into a starting defensive end. But getting off topic, we they ended up snatching Nate Allen in the second round. But if you look at it, if they would have just ended up taking Earl Thomas like I wanted him to in the first round, we would be talking about something totally different. But Hey, just a little, just a little pointless fact right there. But the main purpose of the video, Jamon Bush Rods is up resigning with the Miami Dolphins. Um, a lot of, a lot of mixed feelings about him G going off of the comments I have seen. A lot of people don't like him. People say he's terrible. People say that he's, he did okay. You know how I feel about him. He was decent. I didn't want, well, let's, let me put it like this. The Miami Dolphins, they screwed up because there was a plethora of offensive guards sitting in free agency that was a light year upgrade from Jamon Bushrod and Ted Larson. But we end up dropping the ball. You know how I felt. I wanted Ronald Leary. I was extremely upset that the Denver Broncos picked him up before we was able to get him. But hey, it is what it is. But the Miami Dolphins, they did this to themselves. I would love to have Ronald Leary or TJ Lang or... Um, Who's the other? Kevin Zeitler. But when it comes down to it, the Miami Dolphins just won't be so damn cheap. I don't understand it when they be so cheap with the offensive guard position. As much as we sit back and have struggled as far as offensive guard, they go so cheap. But um, yeah, Jamal Bushrod, like I can't complain about Jamal Bushrod's game. Uh, by the way, disregard that scrub sitting on your far sitting on the far right of the screen. But uh, back to uh, Jamal Bush, Rob. I did. I cannot complain about his game in 2016. He started all 16 games. That's one of the things that you have to look at number one because durability is the issue as far as the Bobby Dolphins offensive line. So, hey, I said this earlier in the Miami Dolphins offensive preview video. You can even when Brandon Albert got if Brandon Albert got traded, which he did. I would like to keep at least one of them guards in play. Obviously, Lermy Tussle's gonna move over to the left tackle spot, and we got Lermy, um, Jamal Bushrod back, so he's gonna be back at that right guard position. You have to remember, him coming over from the Chicago Bears, he was playing tackle, so it's a transition to him going back to playing guard because I believe he played guard in college. But obviously, him, him having that connection with Adam Gaze had a probably had a part of him coming back to Miami but uh let me know what you guys think about it be like again 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 one more thing you, we us as Miami Dolphins fans we know how bad it could get as far as a guard position so Jamon Bushrod ain't that bad so you just sit just sit back and think about that for a second but uh you know what it is if you enjoyed the content please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button this is great one Devore. I'm up out of here